the first mindset that we might need to have in order for us to be satisfied and crave less for the things that we don't really need is firstly keep in mind that change is constant buying the latest and greatest iphone is probably one of the most gratifying experiences that we could have or at least for me but the thing is your latest phone is always going to be last year's phone next year your phone is going to be old at that point your nice and brand new car is undeniably going to be old and dusty given time don't get me wrong it is okay to buy and replace something that you have if that thing is going close to being unusable but if your reason of purchase is close to envy and that everyone has this maybe i should do or you feel like your friends are gonna mock your old phone that has a broken screen then they're not really your friends though if you have the money then you should go and get it repaired and maybe that's just the time you should go and buy a replacement the second is have a different perspective every time we want to get something new stuff new skills new anything and yes having new skills is not bad but if you feel like you still don't have enough that is like oh look at them they're good at playing guitar when i'm not or good for them because they have that thing well, I don't. You can also try to learn what others can do or save up some money and get something that others have. But if you feel like this feeling is not healthy and it is making you crave for something that you really don't want anyways, try to look from a different perspective. What do you have that they don't? What can you do that they can? Try to discover those things and when you already have, take care of them. If it is a skill, then try to be the best that you can be. But Wes, what if I have nothing special? I'm too normal. Then that's also a good thing. At least, you know, you're doing just fine. Now, I like this quote. It is said here that there are two ways to be rich. One is by acquiring much, and the other is by desiring little. Find your good side because everyone has their own good sides. The third and last one is more does not always mean more. When you go to apps like Lazada, Shopee, or into the Facebook marketplace, and you go there to buy something that looks very convenient, to have so you tap check out or maybe you talk to the person who's selling that item and now you're waiting for that item to arrive in your home or maybe you're planning for a meetup so now you already have that item or maybe food but after eating that food you don't really feel satisfied after using that item for weeks or months you then realize you're not using it anymore every time you buy something and you know you're not even gonna use that for a year that's one more junk in the house and one more space in your pocket and you can't sell that item for a full price because you've already used it so think twice three times four of whether you really want to buy this something or maybe you just want to use that limited time free shipping voucher to buy the things that you don't really need don't let those ads make you feel like omg i have to buy that thing when in reality you don't really need that additional phone case because you already have like five of them. Now that's something to think about. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below. Like this video if you like it. Sub if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day.